There we go. There. It's a trout. Yeah, nice trout. Let's see if I get it up here. Still real green. Trying to post them in on the wave. Little guy. Little guy. Nice trout. Get him lift up. Kind of see where he's at. A lipper on him. Coastal court, baby. Live shrimp. How we do? Just a little under 16. Just a little under 16. Just a hair under 16. Nice fish. What is going on, everybody? This person next to me, that's a that's an Eric. All right, so we have very favorable water conditions in Galveston. Uh, the water has been green. We're out here with live shrimp. Sun is almost up. You can see right on my left shoulder, it's almost up. We'll be fishing some really nice, beautiful, clean water. If you haven't done this yet, whether you're on the west end or the east end, wade fishing, pier fishing, bank fishing, rock fishing, when the water gets clean, you've got to get out there. you got to really maximize your time out there. We picked up some live shrimp. I'm throwing coastal cork starting the day off. And uh, yeah, we're going to see what we can hook up. Actually, I just did. Oh, hey, Eric boat up. Eric boat up. What'd you get him on, Eric? Oh, that's a clown back there, too. No, what'd you get him on? Oh, no. I was asking what you were throwing. Never mind. Hey. Dude, I think that was a good clown. So before we go any further with this video, I just want to give a huge shout out to TTL Plumbing Service. You know, I had an issue outside with my outdoor faucet. Uh, when I went to tighten the faucet, it just spun around and it wouldn't shut off. So I called my friend Tim, who owns an owner and operator of TTL Plumbing Services, and he came out very fast. He came out and saved me quite a lot of money and his knowledge and his his service for plumbing i know he's helped mark with mdlr fishing before and tim is just a very trustworthy guy if you need any kind of plumbing and he serves a houston greater area so if you need any kind of plumbing maintenance or maintenance when it comes to plumbing or installation um, even warranty he'll, he handles all of that and he, like I said, he came out and he saved myself and my family <laughs> hundreds of dollars. And, you know, he took care of me and did a quick fix. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm lucky enough to call him a friend. And I know good service is good people to come out and service you. Honest people is hard to find sometimes. So that's that's why I want to give Tim a plug. Uh, he didn't ask me to. And <laughs> And I, I just can't thank him enough. He's a great guy. He sponsors the channel. He sponsors Patreon. He's, he's a great sponsor and a great friend. So if you are looking for a plumbing service, you are looking for a trustworthy plumber, then check out Tim. Uh, his information is in the description section below, and his phone number is right there, right on the screen. So if you are looking for some money, check him out. It's a great guy. Cow hook. Nice big cow hook today. I had a smaller hook on. I had an octopus hook, which is my BFF hook, and uh, I missed a few strikes. So, still on this kill hook. We're gonna see if we can uh, do that again, duplicate that a second time. There he is, he's on again. No. Got him again. He's on again. Eric, got another one. I know. Yeah, I another trout. Spike, yeah. Yeah, oh, nice one. If I get him up here, oh, you come on, slide, slide up, get out of that hole. Well, you gotta pick him over that rock. Yeah. Where is he at? I can't grab my line. I can't see it. He is just a little under 17, just a hair under 17 inches. Awesome guy. Awesome, awesome fish. All right, nice big long leader line today. Nice big long line. We're gonna try. We're gonna try it again. Try it again. 
early bird gets the worm, early anger gets the specs. That's words to live by right there. Sunrise bite, I love it all the time. Sunrise bite. Another better way to start the day than with that sunny bite. See if he don't want to get too close to the edge. Kind of just popping the cork every once in a while, let him know I'm in the area, kind of attracting the fish with that noise, that disturbance on the water surface, the chatter of the cork, and you kind of just honing them in. This rod has a little too much bend in it than I normally like for a cork, but we're gonna make it work. You know, Academy sent me these rods, so I, I really like the rod, but um, it's really not what I would pick for a cork rod. I'll pick something like maybe medium heavy, just something with a little more backbone, especially like when you saw a minute ago when I was trying to land him, just way too much backbone to try to lift out of these rocks. There we go, we got him on. Let's see if I can walk over here. So I get over here and get this other guy right here. Oh, 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 right in the wave, right in the wave, right in the wave. That's the best way to do it. Ride that wave up, get him up here. Bam, that was a good one. So we got another one. He's still green though. Still very green. He's not happy with me. Beautiful little guy. He might be close. 16, 16 on the money, baby. Look at that. That's three, three and the sun just barely showing a little bit of shine on it. We're gonna see, let's go. Get another one. Cast back out. It's a nice big slick over there on that other rock. You gotta look for those oil slicks as fish feeding. Let's see if we get another one. This guy was a little closer in on this side. The other two came from like right in front of me. So. Oh, I missed it. Somebody hit it. All right, let's see if we can get that guy again. Get that one back. Get that leg back. I missed the hook set. I didn't, uh. I wasn't ready. The rod tip down, pop it, leave your rod tip down. He's drifting, kind of staying with that same area again. You know, pop it again. Rod tip down, rod tip down. Come on. I hesitated. I wasn't too sure if I saw the cord go down or not. So, there we go, right on that pop. That's a better one. Uh, probably about the same as the other two. I think they're all kind of cookie cutter 16 17 inch want to ride the wave in ride the wave in come on where's the wave there we go hey, 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 hey. This guy, yeah he's probably about 16 17 oh he might be a little smaller than that he might be closer to 15 Skinny one, this is thin one. Yeah, he's 14. Good deal. A little 14 incher. He's gonna make it. Nice thickness to him for me, 14 though. There we go. Woo, this one got a little fight. Yeah, trying to. That's a nice fish right here. That's a nice one. Nice one.
You got him? Good. Oh yeah, that's nice. 17 and a half. Is that a fish? 17 and a half inches. <laughs> Get him here. Well, I had to go spoon it. You got my spoon? Yeah. yeah nice. What? Yeah, you know I had to spoon it, bro. I thought it was just <laughs> one I gave you some sugar. <laughs> There you go, get him up here. Yes, sir. Hold that baby boy up, baby boy. There you go. Oh, double up! <laughs> oh, you lost yours! What the hell, Cody? Oh no, I got him. There you go. Double. Ah, get out of my line. Just joking. I know you're not. Come on, come on, watch. Hey, 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 hey. Simmer down. Nice one right here. Oh yeah. 16. 16 incher. Oh, 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 yeah. You get it? All right, so that's going to do it today. You know what? I had a fantastic time out there in the water. You know, I caught my limit by 6.30. 6.30, I was done. Five trout. You know, the key was a live shrimp. I went out in the past, this past, maybe the same week. Uh, maybe four days before, and um, I, I wasn't catching like I was without using live shrimp. And it's that time of the year. You know, we get into this time of the summer, and there's so much bait on the water. Um, the water uh, is very clean right now. I'm using a cork, a popping cork. Uh, I like using coastal cork. There's a couple other corks that I use. I was using coastal cork. I gave myself anywhere from two to three foot leader line. A lot of times I go with 30 pound. There's nothing wrong with using 20 pound. I did go with, with 30 pound and I switched it and went with 20 pound. And it seemed like the bite was just there for both. But it seemed like I got just a few more fish using that 20 pound uh, leader line. Just for the simple fact that it's just so clean. The water's so clean. The visibility's there. I was also using a size 2 uh, kale hook. I did have an octopus hook on early on. And it just seemed like I missed the bite a little bit. Um, there's um the speckled trout have big mouth so using that kale hook i think really helps um really helps you to drive that hook home a little better and, and hang on to the fish um but you know what Th this day wasn't done i caught a ton of fish i mean i crushed it eric came out and uh he had very he did very good captain cody came out for a little while and he did very good as well. So stay tuned for the next video because we're not done with this day yet. We just, we just hammered and hammered and hammered the fish. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, we do have a Patreon page. So if you're like, Ruben, what day did you go out? What, what were you throwing? What were the water conditions like? Like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I, I missed that moment when the water looked good. If you want to know fishing reports, locations, put-ins, behind the scenes if you want any of that information then in the description section there is a patreon link and that's going to take you over there matter of fact i'm recording this sunday and tomorrow morning i have an open invite to my patrons and we're going to go back out there we're going to go back out there and we're going to try to get on some more specs so if that's something you like you know you want open invites meetups when join patreon today i'm going back out there tomorrow with some guys and hopefully we'll be able to hook up and i hope next time you catch me hooking up. Thanks.